One of the best things I've seen, Nate, this dog you've adopted and gave to your parents, it's so cute. How is he doing? He's feeling great. He's very famous in my mom and dad's hometown of Augusta, Kentucky. And now my dad walks him and everybody comes up and says, hey, Nate, how you doing? So he's, uh, he's gone from a shelter in Cincinnati to like uh, fame, shot to fame, much like I did, really. <laughs> It's really just a, very similar. Really just your story. Yeah, it is. It's the story of me. <laughs> what was it about him that really made you want to talk? Well, there's a bit of a thing involved. My parents had to put their dog to sleep that they were very close to and loved very much. And, you know, it left a hole in their heart, which it does. And I, I, was, I kept saying to my dad, you know, you're going to adopt another dog. Because they've always sort of found them. You know, they'll come wandering on the street. And he said, no, 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 never again. No, I'm done with this, you know, because it's sort of heartbreaking. So I knew they needed a dog, and I knew he wasn't going to take one. So I found this dog that was handicapped. He's born with a leg that kind of hangs out this way, and he's all, he's a mess. And, uh, and I called the lady up, and I said, on Christmas Eve, can you deliver this dog to my parents' house? Because what are you going to do? You're going to kick a handicapped dog out of the house. So they brought him on, and now he's the love of their lives. They love him. He's so cute.